and welcome to another unboxing video. Today we are looking at the GearGo HD Portable Projector. Here it is. Let's get started. Oops, it's upside down. Okay, so in the box, you have the product manual, which comes in several different languages. You get a HDMI cable, a flat HDMI cable, which is kind of, it's a bit different. You get a three-in-one video line cable, and then you get your power cable, which is a standard figure of eight. And you also get a remote control. Uh, so that's kind of cool. We'll have a look at this as well. So it takes, there's no batteries, but it takes two AAAs right there. And you have your projector. All right, so there's the projector. Um, so as you can see, it is actually quite small. Right, on the front, you've got your infrared port. On the right hand side, you've got your power port and a vent for the fan. At the back, you've got your VGA port as well as another infrared port. And then on the left hand side, you've actually got your SD card reader. You have a, an audio port uh, for headphones. You've got an AV port. That's for the audio video cable that we've got there. You've got two HDMI ports and a USB input as well. Uh, and then that again is another fan. So this projector does actually come with two fans. You have one on either side of the projector there. Now it's supposed to have dual stereo speakers, but cannot see where they might be. Oh, hang on. Right, so there looks to be a speaker inside of there, and I can't see another one. So I'm wondering if that's hidden somewhere else. I don't know, we'll test it out. So at the top, you have your menu button, your up, down, left, right buttons. You've got the power button. You've got the play, pause button. You've got the source button. And in the middle, you have your OK button. And that's about it for the projector unboxing. We're gonna turn it on now. Basically, we're gonna power this up, plug in the Raspberry Pi, and see if we can get some gaming going. There is a couple of things that we should mention. This is actually 2,800 lumens. So it's not very bright, but it should be bright enough that you'll be able to use it in daylight. I think it's got a bulb lifespan of about 30,000 hours. So let's get it set up. All right, so this is the setup we are going to be using for the test. We've got the projector plugged into a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus inside of a North Part case. I have my custom retro joystick here, which I'm going to be using to play some games on my Raspberry Pi. This is all plugged in via HDMI cable. Now, based on what's in the manual, it does say a 1.4 meter distance from the wall should give us a 40 inch screen so we're about to test that out i have to mention a couple of things using the sd card reader which is right there you can play uh, audio files in the following format so wma mp3 and M m4a you can also uh, pop in some pictures and just have those cycle through and you can also play videos uh, so your standard mpeg ones mpeg twos mpeg4 yeah there's quite a few different file types to choose from i don't think you're going to be restricted so if you've got any home videos you can definitely just pop in an sd card and just play them through there or if you've already backed up your dvd archive you can start playing it through your sds which is great and uh, it'll probably work with these usb all right so let's turn this on Open. All right, so you can see the light has just popped on. There we go. Okay, seems to be working. But I'm gonna to need to move this forward so it's off. I had to get a box to raise it up so it actually presented itself a little bit better on the wall. Uh, otherwise it was actually touching the table and then the camera couldn't see the front of it. Anyway, long story short, got a box. Uh, now, if I just change the focus, so you've actually got two rings that you can move around here. The first ring is your focus ring. The second ring is to change the keystone. Now normally the keystone is something that you actually set up using the buttons. In this case, it's uh, right here. So it looks to be okay. Doesn't seem to be anything wrong with that. And what I'll do is I'll get it set up just right and then I'll switch the camera over to the other side. Got to turn the pie on, and yep, signal's up. 
Okay, so something I have to point out here is that underneath here, what you normally find at the front of a projector is there's uh, usually some kind of a bolt or a screw that you'd undo to drop it down. So you actually raise up the projector just a little bit on the front. That raises it up and then you use the keystone to actually straighten the image. In this one, they don't provide that. I have checked the box again just to make sure and there was nothing in there. So what I'll do is I'll have to measure it and find the right bolt and then I'll be able to put that in and hopefully get a better image out of it. All right, so what these guys are saying is that at 1.4 meters, the distance from the wall to the projector, you should get a 40 inch screen. Now, if we measure this, you guys can see that it's uh, about, oh, I don't know if you can see that, 135, 136. Diagonally, we are getting 41 inches. All right, so I turn the lights off and there you have it. It does actually look a lot better with the lights off. This is still daylight. I can still see the screen quite clearly. Uh, I'm gonna get started with a game. So it has actually been a fair few years since I played this, so yeah, come me some slack. Right, so I just checked the audio settings are actually a problem with my Raspberry Pi, uh, so I'll have to fix that. Um, but otherwise, it did actually work. Stereo sound, not that great. I think that had more to do with the fact that there's only one speaker that I can see from the bottom. Other than that, seems like a solid portable projector, very small, very compact. Uh, does exactly what it needs to do in terms of being able to project at 1.35 or 1.36 meters away from the wall, getting 41 inches on the display. This is a standard. 1080p projector. All right, so I'm gonna try and get my Raspberry Pi configured so I can get more sound out of this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and test out the SD card reader and the USB port just to make sure that everything works fine. If there are any glaring issues, I will add that on uh, after this. If not, this will be the end of the video. So let me know how you think I did, if there's any way I could have improved it. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.